this is me. Um, I can't wait till until the um uh, until me going to DC and coming a couple couple of days away. Um, I love you and I miss you so much. And I can't wait. Bye. Love you. Uh, I got a big old smile on my face for more than one reason, Charlie. Um, I understand that we have uh, James Brown on the line. But before we go to James, just quickly, Charlie, uh, we were getting to trying to find out from you in your 64 years of introducing every president since Truman through Obama, what's your single most memorable moment? I think it had to be during the term of George W. Bush in 2005, in Washington, we had not had professional baseball for 33 years. 2005 is when baseball actually returned to Washington. Here I am at the microphone, and I'm introducing the president, and he's right below me, and it had stopped. The, there was no action, and I felt responsible to keep it moving. So I basically said, Mr. President, here in Washington, it's traditional for the president to throw out the first ball at the baseball game. Washington now has a real honest to goodness Major League Baseball team in town again. And, and Will you be throwing out the first ball? We hope so. Does your schedule allow? And he shrugged a little bit, not knowing what his schedule was going to be. And about 30 seconds later, here comes this uh, Secret Service guy, about 6'4", and he looks at me, nose to nose, and says, are you the announcer? And I said, yes, sir. He says, well, I'm Secret Service for the president, and don't you dare ever ask any more questions. Don't make an announcement directed to the president. You just make your announcements in a general fashion. Do you understand me? And I said, yes, sir, I think I believe I understand you. So there's no more uh, but announcements back and forth, no conversations with the president. But I, I did remember that situation. <laughs> you, see, you, you, learn, you learn. I you learned. Learn, you learn that lesson. <laughs> Charlie, let me, uh, again, <clears throat> I, I don't think I'd be doing my job if I didn't ask this. Um, Barack Obama obviously made history. Yes. As the first African American president. Correct. And there was such a palpable feeling of of gratitude, of joy, of pride in the African American community. All the above, absolutely. As a as a as, as a Caucasian who's been involved. Yes. How did you feel seeing that history making moment? I was so happy that a barrier has been broken. We're all competitive people. Everybody wants to be a winner. I thought for the United States, we had just won a game. It was just something that hadn't been done, should have been done, and it was being accomplished. And, and personally, I was part of that in a very minor way, but it'll be something that I'll always remember and one of the things in the past, an inaugural parade like like Reagan or or Kennedy, it's an extension of their personality. It becomes really great. Obama is kind of a little less. Uh, he's more low key, if you will, and he is giving a lot of schools, high schools, grade schools, uh, uh, colleges, opportunities for their groups. Yeah. To yeah. be in the parade that they have never been in any parade before. Yeah. It's it's a wonderful feeling, and uh, I, and I think everybody feels that way. Okay, 